you just go home and pretend this never happened. I could just go home, text them that I'm sick or something, and pretend that I didn't just get flaked on again. On our anniversary. They're not here to know that it's not true anyway. I just had to go spend good money on trying to fix a relationship that's already gone to the dogs. <sighs> hmm? Ah, hey! What are you doing here? Didn't you have classes or work or something? Ah, you were picking up something around here. Well, <laughs> that explains what you're carrying. Um, well, be careful on your way home. The traffic here was pretty bad, <laughs> even at this time of day. Uh, me? I'm... I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Just, you know, I uh, wanted to bask in the lights here. They're a lot prettier than the ones around our area. <laughs> you don't believe me? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Aren't you always saying that I'm weird? That seems like a pretty weird thing to do. Why am I in my nice clothes? Uh, well, sometimes I just feel like dressing up and sitting to bask in the glow of the streetlights <laughs> away from home. <sighs> all right, all right. You don't need to just stand there and stare at me. I know it's a reach. Look, I'm... I'm just thinking on something. It's no big deal. I'll be going back home here in a minute anyway. Look, nothing happened. Actually, that's true. Nothing happened. Maybe there was supposed to be something happening tonight. But there sure isn't now. Maybe there hasn't been for a while. Uh, you see that stupidly fancy restaurant in front of us? Uh, my partner and I were supposed to have a big date night to save our relationship. That restaurant was supposed to be the start of it. And they were supposed to show up an hour and a half ago. There's not much else I can do but go home. Can't just go in by myself and advertise that my relationship's fallen apart. No, it's fine. Is an important day really skipped if nobody is there to acknowledge it? I'm not going in alone. And there's not really anything you can do to help. Uh, hey, have you eaten? I'm asking if you've eaten. I know I haven't. And I have two tickets for a fancy meal with my name on them. They won't know that you're not the one that was originally supposed to be with me. Yeah, don't worry. There isn't actually a dress code, maybe a social expectation, but I couldn't care less about that right now. The question is if you're okay with that, uh, with coming with me to a fancy restaurant that is almost exclusively for couples and business partners from scarily high tier companies. Let's get inside, then. It's, uh, it's cold out here, anyway. 
hey, if you were out here for an hour and a half, you'd think it was cold too. Uh, n not that I'd want that. I if you're warm, then that's good. Let's get inside. Uh, yeah, I've heard that this place takes a while to bring out the food. I was originally planning on using that time to talk with my partner. You know, to see if we could try to get some sparks going early on in the date. Then I could use the rest of the date to try to... I don't know, stir up some excitement for our future? Talk about what we want in the near future and if that works, see if we can continue that success into the long term. <sighs> of course, that's not going to happen now. I'm pretty sure that this is a sign that things are over between us. I appreciate the suggestion, but I know them well enough to know that this was probably an answer in their own way. If they were stuck somewhere, they're always really good at telling me about it, even right after an argument. If they had an accident or something, we've got automatic alerts set for the other person. Yeah, the miracle of modern day technology. I think they decided that this would be the easiest way to give their answer. I'm probably going to get a text tomorrow afternoon that they decided we should spend our energy elsewhere. Or something like that. Why would they do it that way? Well, they always did say that I can handle anything. Being resilient to bad news is one of the few things I pride myself in. <laughs> what do you mean that's not right? I'm pretty sure I even nailed how they're going to word it. We've been dating for a while now. Or rather, we were dating for a while now. I'm sure they didn't mean any harm by it. They're just expecting me to be able to handle it well. I don't know if they're right, considering the fact that I've been outside in the cold debating on my next move for a while, but... You might be right. I mean, look at us. We've known each other for longer than them and I. And I don't think you've done something like that to me once. Much less multiple times. Instead, you've always been there to help me talk through my problems. You've always been supportive of me. And when you weren't, it's because I was going to do something dumb. Not only that, you and I share more hobbies together. We like a bunch of the same movies and games as well. Sure, there's enough to be surprised by each other, but... Uh, I think it's pretty rare that we get into that awkward moment where one of us just can't understand the other's interest in something and you just stare blankly at them. I don't know if it's common per se, but... Yeah... It's happened enough. It was mostly on their side too. Like you love to say so much, I'm a bit weird. They tend to struggle to get why people would be so interested in the niche things I'm so fascinated by. They also didn't do that very often. I mean, what you just did. Saying that I shouldn't feel bad because you also have weird niche interests. They didn't ever say that I should feel bad about them, but... 
We really had those moments of mutual vulnerability that you're willing to give. She did get pretty sweet when we were cooking together, I guess. Hmm, uh, do you cook much? Uh, why do I ask? Well, I kind of feel like I owe you. I've been cooking for a few years now, and I don't want any gloom from this to cause my skills to rust. I think cooking you some meals might be a good way to pay you back. They probably won't be as good as the chefs here, but I do know my way around a kitchen. No, tonight doesn't count. You're doing me a favour by making sure that my money doesn't go to waste, and keeping me from eating here alone with my own thoughts. Yet again, you somehow managed to find me when I needed someone. I want to pay you back somehow. Huh, no cooking for you, huh? I see. What if I promise to cook homestyle stuff? None of those international dishes I'm always experimenting with. I think they're good, but I know they can be a bit unexpected sometimes. Hmm, still rejecting it, huh? Well, is there anything you do want so I can pay you back? You want to cook together sometime? L like you and me? Cooking in the kitchen? I, uh, I, I suppose I can do that. You did just hear me say that's something that I've been doing with my partner for a while, right? Are you sure that you want to put yourself in that position? Hmm, well, if that's what you want, then we can do that. I suppose that cooking with another person is a skill in its own right. I don't want to get rusty in that either. Plus, it would keep the kitchen cheerful since I'd be cooking with you. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> You're excited for it, huh? <laughs> you know, I think I might be excited for it as well. And you want to watch our favorite movie afterward? What, while we eat? Actually, that does sound pretty nice. <laughs> it's been a while since I've watched it, and it's always better with company. My place hasn't had other people over in a while. And I've still got that big TV you made fun of me for buying. Do you just want to come over for that? <laughs> okay then. Uh, you come to my place, we'll cook up some grub, and we'll watch a movie together on the couch. That sounds like a... Ah. Well, it, uh... It sure sounds, uh, familiar. I mean, it sounds fun. Warm and cozy, too. Which will be nice after all this. It's just... Uh, no, I, I'd appreciate it. You're welcome to come by any time. Um, how about this? I'll see what my partner's reason for flaking tonight was, and we can do that if it's the reason I think it is. Does that sound good? <laughs> Alright, then uh, that sounds like a plan. Uh, and our food's here. <laughs> That's some good timing. Um, hey, uh, before we start eating, I wanted to say thank you. You somehow turned a really bad night into a pretty good one. You're giving your time to be with me tonight. And you've even given me something to look forward to in the near future. M maybe longer than that. Maybe. We'll see how our current plan goes. But really, thank you. I'm so happy that you've been a part of my life. 
and I, I hope you can stay here with me.